I never intended for fitness to be my career. I grew up in the inner cities of New Jersey, East Orange, where health and fitness, most people were ignorant to. It became a norm for most people to be preconditioned with diabetes, heart attack, and stroke. All of these conditions could have been avoided by being active and monitoring what we eat. My boyfriend at the time, who is now my husband, introduced me to fitness while he was on his fitness journey. My husband is a natural endomorph. I've watched him battle with weight from losing 70 pounds to gaining it back to losing another 50. became so well versed in fitness that he motivated me and helped me to transform into the person that you see today. Growing up, I wasn't an active person. I wasn't into sports. I was more so of the creative type. I was into singing, dancing, and music. I never thought that fitness could be a thing or I never thought that I could motivate people through fitness. To give you a story of how this all began, he was running and he was like, you know what, Magda, you should come with me. And I went along as his motivation and his backup. He lost so much weight and we had no idea what it was doing to me. In the process of him losing weight, I lost weight. I saw a lot of definition in my abdominal muscles. My husband said, when did this happen? I said, I don't know. He said, you know what? Magda, you could do something with that. You could definitely help a lot of people. From then, that was around the time when Instagram was new. They say it's black women don't work out. I've learned a lot about myself, not just about having a nice body. Fitness really made me discover my weak points. It's more so mental than physical, because if you tap out mentally, then anything else going on physically is not going to help you to push through. When you first start your fitness journey, it's going to be hard. You may have a lot of negative thoughts in your mind that may tell you you can't do it, you can't push, you know, this is not for you. But the truth is, it's all mental. It's all mental, you know? One thing I've learned, especially competing in the NPC competition, is that fitness is definitely you versus you. Nobody can pick up those weights for you. That scale, when you step on that scale, it's only you. I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned that sometimes I can lie to myself by picking up a piece of candy and saying, oh, you know what, I'm good. But when you're competing, that stuff, every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. And I've learned so much that it just inspired me to continue to motivate so many others. Incorporate activities that you can see and fit into your lifestyle, make it realistic for you. Or if you look at it as if it's a chore, then you're not going to stick with it. It has to be something that you can say, I can physically do this. I'm Magda Civil and fitness is my life. And I'm going to make sure that I make fitness a part of your life too, because I love each and every single last one of you.